How do you enable the console in CS2? Well, click Settings in the top left, followed by Game, and make sure that Enable Developer Console is set to Yes. When you do so, you should be able to hit the tilde key, which on US keyboards is right below Escape, to open up the console window as such. If this didn't work for you, head across to Keyboard and Mouse, then click UI Keys, and make sure that the Toggle Console button is set to tilde or Grave, that key below Escape, otherwise you can set this to any other key that you want. As the console remembers where it is when it opens and closes, maybe you put pushed it off the screen and it's inaccessible. Well, there's another fix for that too. For this, all we need to do is close the game, quit, then navigate across to where Steam is installed. The easiest way to do this is Control shift escape then on the Processes tab, locate Steam, right-click any one of these, choose Open File Location, then head back a few folders to just Steam, usually C Program Files 86 Steam, and inside of him, open the User Data folder, followed by your Steam ID. This is a bit confusing if you have more than just one file. If you have just one folder, open it up, otherwise, click your username in the top right, head across to your profile, right-click the background, and choose Copy Link Location. Head across to a website like steamid.xyz, paste in your link here, and click Submit. Then you'll be able to see the Steam32 ID, this is the folder name. So mine's 104, etc. I'll open this. Then we'll navigate into 730, which is CSGO. In the future, this may be different for CS2. Then local CFG, and inside of here, we're looking for CS2 underscore machine underscore convars dot VCFG. Open this with a program like Notepad or any text editor. Then we'll be scrolling down to Panorama Console Position and Size. Set the first two to 20. 20.00 and the second two to 200 as such. Save the file, close it, and when you restart CS2, you should now be able to open up the console and it'll be back in the default position, but a little bit smaller so you can adjust it as necessary and reposition it. The first two are for X and Y, the second two are for width and height. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.